is 5.35 in the morning and we are heading to practice. After practice, I usually just go home and nap a little bit. But um, after that, I have class and then get back to the pool again. Pretty normal day. noise in the pool when we're all swimming together, like it's just a, a dull roar in the pool. So. The best parts are pretty like self-explanatory, just like the feeling you get from competing with all like the great athletes and it's crazy to think about that you're actually one of the best in the world at what you do and, and like the, the worst parts are just tiny in comparison. second year technically I'm still in first year because I transferred into human kinetics. I probably won't make it in five years <laughs> just because I've I haven't done more than three courses a semester. Like I've done summer classes which has kind of kept me up up to speed but this year especially it's a little bit slower. Yeah the record for longest like university years I guess is 10 years by one of the girls on the swim team so but hopefully I'm around six so I <laughs> wouldn't want to be sticking around for that long. Quite honest, that's not the first time that somebody said that. Well, this is the kitchen. My parents never do uh, lame kitchens. They're always big and fancy. Living room. This would be what I like to call the shrine. My parents put up many different things about my swimming career and some of my more impressive medals. And this is um, a little medallion from the Olympics. My brother uh, called me after I made the Olympic team and he was like, what the hell? I was like, wait, what? He was like, our parents aren't even gonna remember my name. I'm just gonna be the kid who didn't make the Olympics. <laughs> this is my room. As you can tell, I have a lot of shoes if you look behind you. I've been doing it since I was eight and I've kind of gotten used to the balance aspect, also balancing school as well when I'm doing it. So sometimes it's hard for friends, especially the ones that don't swim, to understand what I do and understand that I won't be able to go out on a Friday night because I have practice Saturday morning. But they, they're, they're all so proud of me and I'm so happy to have the support from them and everybody. Um, usually they say that women have two peaks in swimming. One when they're pretty young, like probably 16 or so or like a little bit before that. And then another when they're like mid-20s. And so that's what, like, there's like a bit of a lull in the middle and that's where we lose a lot of good athletes. Like, they kind of get to that age like where you your body's changing so much and it's just difficult to continue and then they decide to leave before they actually reach their full potential. So that's like, I kind of went through that the last couple years and I just, um, yeah, I got through it. Like my coach really helped me with that and so, um, yeah, hopefully I'll come out the other side stronger. So it's kind of a quick turnaround after class, but I'm gonna go swim a little bit more. I grew up actually just outside of Vernon. I we lived on the west side of the lake, so it's like a half hour drive into town. So I mean, when we were in town, we were there the whole day. And so I would leave my house at 4.45 and I wouldn't get back until about 8, 8.15. It's been a long ride, but you know, it's never been anything that uh, either my wife or I resented, you know. 
my dad actually had a bed set up in the back of the van when he did that because he would drive me to practice and then sleep in the car and wait for me to be done. My, Tom Johnson, my coach, is he's a, a seasoned veteran at all this. I think he's been to six Olympics, so he's kind of pretty mellow about all of it, and I've, um, I've never seen him cry, but after the 400, he came up to me and gave me a hug and started crying. And I was like, what is going on? Like, why? I don't understand. Why are you so emotional? The practice went really well. I did a set that I've done in the past, and it was better than the last time I did it, so uh, that's good. The last time I did it was right before uh, our university championships, and I swam well there, so hopefully it'll be the same for Olympic trials. Um, go home and do some work, maybe some schoolwork, and um, then come back, and I got a coach master's later, so passing on the knowledge.